Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we prepare to go into the Word of God on tonight, minister to your people. Let the scriptures come alive to them. Encourage them on tonight. Let this be a word that would help them to navigate and see where they are in their walk with you. Help your people to grow. Help your people to grow in the word of God. Help them to grow in their faith, God. Strengthen everyone under the sound of my voice tonight. Bless your people. In the name of Jesus we pray. Somebody say a good amen right there. Oh, bless God. Bless God. You move mountains. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. I was standing here only because you made a way. Oh, come on, give it praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, saints. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he is a mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So on tonight, we are talking about the four stages of faith. Glory to God. The four stages of faith. So as we get into the scriptures on tonight, this is to help you understand or to get a good gauge on where you are in your faith on tonight. <laughs> I love that picture right there because as we go into the scriptures, you're going to realize, let, okay, man, where am I? Am I on a quarter tank or half tank? Am I on three quarters or am I, am I running on a full tank? <laughs> oh, glory to God. You gonna, you, this, is gonna, this message is going to help you discern and see where you are in your walk with God and just it's it's to it's to help you it's not it's not a message to beat you down it's a message to help you locate your own self spiritually and see what it is you need to do to be able to move on to the next step in your walk with God to get to that next level of faith you know the Bible said we go from glory to glory and from faith to faith amen so let, we we gonna we gonna take we gonna let's let's jump into the word now. We 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 on stage one. We are talking about no faith, no faith at all, no faith. We all start. We all we all got to start somewhere. Remember in the book of Mark chapter four, verses thirty five through the end of that chapter. Jesus and his disciples, they were headed over to the other side, and the Bible said. They were caught in a storm. And the disciples begin to cry out for fear and say, Master, don't you care that we are about to perish? <laughs> Have anybody been there before where you had to pray those kind of prayers? Lord, do you see what I'm going through? My back is against the wall. Do something. <laughs> Uh, I prayed those prayers many a times. Come on, and no doubt you never. We, we'll still pray those prayers again. Amen. So the Bible says Jesus stood in the he he. They woke him up. He stood in the bow of the ship and he rebuked the storm. He said, "Peace, be still." My God. Just three words. Glory to Jesus. Isn't that awesome? That three words from God can calm your storm. You know, the Bible says it was a great storm, but after he rebuked it, the Bible says, then there was a great calm. There was a great calm. And then he says something to them that's very interesting in Mark chapter 4, verse 40. And Jesus said unto them, 
Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I remember, I remember, I know what it is to run on an empty tank of gas. <laughs> Come on, somebody, and I'm talking. I'm talking spiritually as well. Listen, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is to have no faith for a particular thing? And listen, I want you to hear me good tonight. When you run out of faith, that's when you need to lean on the mercy of God. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? They they didn't have no faith, but I believe they lean on the mercy of God. And these apostles, they saw God in the midst of their storm in the ship with them. Gave them a miracle in spite of them having no faith. I love this chapter. I love this right here because this is the first place in the scripture I see God give somebody a miracle and they had no faith. And the Bible says they made it safely over to the other side. Glory to God. Now that we on stage one. Listen, have you ever been in a situation where you had no faith for that thing whatsoever? And the mercy of God kicked in and God still gave you a miracle. Come on, talk back to me here. C come on, talk back to me. Have you ever been in a situation where, where you didn't have faith? And even though you didn't have faith, you leaned on the mercy of God and he gave you a miracle. We, we, are, trying to help, we are trying to help you locate yourself spiritually. You got to be honest about it. Don't blow yourself up. The Bible says don't think more highly of yourself than you ought to. I think all of us are guilty of that one way or another. Have been there and God have to humble you. Boy, and enough, nothing can humble you like a storm. <laughs> now watch this. So we see here, the first stage of faith is no faith. <laughs> they had no faith. They thought it was over, man. They, I mean, these, these, these fellas, they done preached their funeral. My God, they done said their goodbyes to their kids. They, they thought it was over. <laughs> Glory to God. They thought it was over. I, man, have you ever been in a bad situation and you just start thinking about death and thinking about your own funeral and, and God got to sh shake you back to yourself? We've all been there. Come on. Do we even play tonight? Now we're moving on to stage two. So we are moving from, put, put the photo back up there for me, Samuel. So we are moving from, we are moving from, we are moving from no faith to little faith. <laughs> Listen, I dare somebody, I just dare someone say tonight, Pastor Sean, I'm on the stairway to heaven. <laughs> Glory to God. I, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving no faith. I'm leaving no faith. Come on, somebody. Come, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Can, can you just say, I'm leaving no faith? Come on, come on. Say, I'm leaving no faith. <laughs> come on, somebody. Say, I'm leaving that step. I'm leaving no faith. I'm moving. I dare somebody to say I'm moving on. I can't stay on no faith. I got to go in God. I got to move to the next step. I'm here to preach to somebody tonight. Someone is getting ready to move from no faith to little faith. I dare someone to shout it. I'm moving. I've been struggling in my faith. I've been struggling in my walk with God. But I'm leaving the place of no faith. I'm moving to the next step. I'm moving from ground zero. I'm moving in the stage. I'm moving in the stage two where I got a little bit of faith. Somebody shout, I'm moving. I'm moving. Say goodbye, no faith. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. I'm leaving no faith. I'm moving on to the next step. We go from glory to glory. We go from faith to faith. I'm moving. She come a hand of baka. Rama hand of babosa. Come on and give a praise. Somebody, someone on this broadcast tonight. You are moving. You are moving. We are moving. From on no faith street, we move it from no faith street. To
to another street called a little faith. But at least I'm growing. At least I'm moving. At least I'm making progress. Someone shout and give him praise tonight. Hallelujah. Hey, come on, my no, 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 shout. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Now watch this. So now we're moving on to stage two in the game where Jesus talks about a little faith. Glory to God. And listen, we are looking at the lives of the apostles. You know, the apostles, that's the church. That's you and I. And when you see how God work in the lives of his apostles, it helps you and I to realize what how God works in our own lives and what we need to do to yield so we can better cooperate with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to see something here. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. Jesus said, Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow it's cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Oh, you of little faith. Can someone say that? Oh, you of little faith. Can someone just type those words for me? Oh, you of little faith. And you know, watch this now, because we, we, we got to, look, now some of you may see the glass half empty. I see the glass half full. Glory to God. Now watch this. I remember when I first read that scripture, it almost, it almost seemed as though Jesus was rebuked. It almost seems like he was talking down to him. We know he wasn't. It almost comes off that way that he was talking down to them. Oh, you of little faith. Watch this. Let me read another scripture. I'm, I'm, I'm about to make some points here. Watch this now. Remember when Jesus told Peter, to come out of the boat in the midst of the storm in Matthew chapter 14. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 22, all the way down to verse 34. And the Bible says, Peter stepped out of the boat in the midst of a storm. I, I, man, listen, I would ask him to calm the storm first. But Peter was so radical, he said, bid me to come. Right in the midst of the storm, man, you know, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't a deep thinker at all. Peter wasn't a deep thinker at all. <laughs> I think that's my problem sometimes. So Peter jumped out of the boat and began to walk on the water to go to Jesus. And all of a sudden, the wind blew and some salt water splashed in Peter's face. And boy, just, just knocked, knocked Christ right out, of his, right out of his sight. And the Bible says, Peter began to sink when he, when, he, when he took his eyes off Jesus. He began to sink and he cried. He said, Lord, help me. Come on, somebody shout, Lord, help me. Do you need help tonight? Do you need his help? The Bible says when he cried and said, Lord, help me. The Bible says Jesus reached out his hands and he picked the apostle Peter. He pulled him back up to the top of the water. And when he pulled him up to the top of the water, Jesus said, why did you doubt? Oh, you of little faith. Hey, somebody help me shout. You know, I used to think, I used to think, man, it seems like Jesus is rebuking this man until the Holy Ghost opened my eyes. He said, the Lord is not rebuking Peter. It's a compliment because in the storm in Mark chapter 4 or in Mark chapter 5, Mark chapter 4, Jesus said to them, how is it that you have no faith? But now by the time we got to Matthew chapter 14, Jesus said to Peter, you have a little faith. Jesus said you have a little faith so that you and I can realize that Peter had grown in his faith. He had left ground zero. He had left no faith and now he got a little faith so we can see God at work in the life of Peter. Peter 
made a move from step one and now he is on the second step he is on the second step called a little faith I'm preaching to somebody you was doubting God you had no faith at all but my God at least Peter with a little bit of faith he walked on the water no wonder Jesus said if you have faith the size of a grain of the mustard seed you shall say to this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the midst of the sea and shall not doubt in your heart but shall believe that those things which you say shall come to pass you will have whatever you say with no faith we gotta stay in the boat but with a little bit of faith we can step out the boat in the midst of a storm and begin to walk on top of water with a little bit of faith he gives you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you I dare somebody to take a step right now just stand up in your house stand up in your room and begin to walk because with a little bit of faith I'm walking by faith I'm not by sight I might have a little bit of faith but at least I'm growing in God I'm making progress I'm not where I was last year I've left that platform I've changed my address I'm making progress in God for without faith it's impossible to please God but whoever comes to God must believe that he is and he rewards those who diligently seek him with a little bit of faith I'm pleasing God because I'm growing in God somebody shout I'm getting ready to move my God I feel the Holy Ghost 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 oh my God can I preach myself happy tonight Pastor Sean why are you so excited this is why I'm excited because the secret to developing in your faith the secret to growing to a strong faith is when the storm comes you never let go of Jesus even when the storm came in the boat Peter stayed in the boat he stayed in his relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and by the time he was caught up in another storm his faith was beginning to grow the secret to your faith being able to grow you got to walk with Jesus just a little talk with Jesus makes it all right you stick with Jesus in the good times in the bad times in the not so good times you got to hang on to Jesus I dare somebody under the sound of my voice to say I'm hanging on I'm hanging on to Jesus we may be in a pandemic but I'm hanging on to Jesus I might have lost my job but I'm hanging on to Jesus my bills are stacking high but I'm hanging on to Jesus because I moved from no faith to a little faith I'm about to leave little faith to another level of faith somebody shout I'm moving I'm moving I'm moving I'm moving I feel like walking tonight can somebody walk somebody walk to your house I'm walking we walk by faith and not by sight I've left no faith zone and I came into little faith arena but I hear the Holy Ghost say somebody is graduating from little faith you're moving on to faith shout it I'm moving I'm moving the devil can't stop me he tried I'm breaking through 
principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world and breaking through spiritual wickedness in high places I'm taking on the whole armor of God that I might be able to stand against the wives of the devil somebody shout no weapon formed against me will be able to prosper and every tongue that rise against me in judgment I condemn you I'm moving on you held me back for the last time I'm hanging on to Jesus those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God I don't have mustard seed faith no more my faith has grown to the size of a butter acorn somebody shout I'm moving I'm moving someone shouted I'm moving the key to growing your faith you got to stay in the word you got to hang on to Jesus the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 17 so then faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God every Thursday night you're listening to the word every Sunday night you're listening to the word every Monday night or Monday morning you're listening to the word Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday January February March April May June July and I'm still plugged in I'm still listening somebody is growing someone is moving up someone is going to the next level someone's about to achieve great faith who am I preaching to tonight who am I preaching to the woman with the issue of blood she passed through the crowd for she said within herself if I may but touch the hem of his garments I know I'll be made whole Jesus looked around in the crowd and Jesus said who touched me who touched me the apostle Peter said have you lost your mind there are thousands of people brushing up against you how can you say who touched me but Jesus said it's somebody that's got faith and the woman with the issue of blood she said Lord it's me as soon as I touch the hem of your garments my issue of blood dried up he said daughter be of good cheer your faith your faith have made you whole somebody shout my faith my faith in the blood my faith in the word my faith in the resurrection my faith in the father my faith in the son my faith in the holy ghost have made me whole for god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should have to repent if god said it he'll make it good if he spoke it he'll bring it to pass somebody shout i'm ready to move on to great faith i'm ready i feel the holy ghost hey i feel the holy ghost i feel it tonight i feel it i feel the holy ghost Pastor Sean, how do I get to the next level? How do I get to the place where I have great faith? This is how you get to that place. You just keep on walking with Jesus. Are you listening to me? You keep on walking with him. The Bible says, if you be faithful in that which is least, God will trust you with a whole lot more. How do you get to the next level? Use the faith that you have. 
use the faith that you have. Faith without works is dead. Being alone, use it. Use what you got. Use it, use it, use it. Use what you got. And when you use up what you got, Jesus will look at you and he'll say it's time to graduate them. It's time to bring them to another level in God. Somebody is getting ready to graduate from faith to great faith. Who am I preaching to tonight? Say, Pastor Sean, that's me. I'm on the ladder. I'm moved from no faith. I'm moved from a little faith. And now I'm moving from faith to great faith. My God, when Jesus heard about the centurion servant, my God, listen, listen here. The Jews came to Jesus and they said, this centurion servant is at the point of death. Would you come and heal him? And Jesus said, I will come and heal this man's servant. Glory to God, I feel like running tonight. Jesus said, I'm coming to heal him. And whilst Jesus was with the Jews on the way to the centurion house, glory to God, help me preach myself happy tonight. My God, the centurion sent some people to tell Jesus, Master, you don't have to come to my house. I'm not even worthy. My God, look at the humility. He said, I'm not worthy for I myself, I'm a man under authority. I say to this one, go, and he goes. I say to this one, come, and he comes. You don't have to come. All I need you to do is speak the word only. Somebody shout, speak the word only. Speak the word, speak the word. You don't have to come and lay your hands on me. Speak the word and my servant will be healed. And the Bible says, when Jesus heard what the centurion said, Jesus said, he marveled and he said, he said to Peter those, he said to John, he said to James, he said, I've not seen so great a faith, not in Israel. He had to go among the Gentiles to find great faith. Somebody shout, preach only, speak the word only. Don't appeal to my flesh. Give me the word. Preach the word. In season, out of season, rebuke, exhort, correct with all long suffering and doctrine. For there is coming a time when they will heap to themselves teachers because they have itching ears. They ain't gonna want to hear the truth. They ain't gonna want you to tell it like it is. But the centurion said, speak the word only. You ain't gotta touch me. You ain't gotta come to my house. You ain't gotta come to my city. Speak the word only. Speak the word. Thy word, O oh Lord, have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you forever, O oh Lord. Thy word is settled in heaven. Isaiah said, so shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it will prosper in the thing I sent it to prosper in. Somebody shall speak the word, speak the word. Psalms 107 verse 20, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their diseases. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that 
that proceeds from the mouth of God. How do you know when you have great faith? This is how you know because all you need is a word from God. You don't need somebody to call your name and prophesy over you. If that's how God does it, that's all right with me. But as long as I can hear the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Forever, O oh God, thy word is set up in heaven. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Somebody shout, all I need is a word. All I need, all I need, my God. All I need is a word. He spoke a word and he said, let there be light. And there was light. Somebody shout, speak the word. Speak the word. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5. Every word of God is pure. I need a word. Somebody shout. Preach the word. My God. Forever he's glorified. Glory to Jesus. Forever he glorified. Forever he is lifted high. Forever he is risen and he is alive. He is alive forever. forever. He is glorified forever. He is lifted high forever. Jesus is risen and He is alive. Forever, forever he is glorified. Forever he is lifted high. Forever he is risen and he is alive. Forever, forever he. Glorified forever, he is lifted high forever, he is risen and he is alive. Speak the word only. The Syrophoenician woman, she came to Jesus. And the apostle said, send no way she cries after us. She's irritating us. Get rid of her. And then Jesus tested her. He said, you can't take the children's bread and give it to dogs. The Gentiles were called dogs. But Jesus was testing this woman to see how bad she wanted her daughter delivered from demons. And the woman bowed and worshiped Jesus. And she said, yes, Lord. But even the dogs eat of the crumbs that fall from the master's table. If there is sugar in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. If there's egg in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. If there's cinnamon in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. If miracles are in the loaf, it's in the crumbs. All I need is a crumb. And I'll be happy. All I need is a crumb, Lord. All I need is a crumb. <clears throat> Jesus looked at his apostles and he said woman great is your faith go home the devil is gone from out of your daughter <laughs> both people who Jesus complimented for having great faith they were Gentiles 
she was determined. Great faith refuses to take no for an answer. Great faith hangs in there until the answer comes. Forever, forever he is glorified. Forever he is lifted high. Forever he is risen and he is alive. He is alive. Someone have moved on tonight. Someone have moved on tonight from no faith to little faith. Someone have moved from little faith to faith. And some others of you on tonight. You're moving from faith to great faith. Forever he is lifted high. Forever he is risen. He is alive. <clears throat> Who would say tonight, Pastor Sean, I believe this message has caused me to reflect and I see where I am in my walk with God. This is not a message to condemn you. It's a message to help you navigate where you are. The Apostle Paul said, examine yourselves to see whether you be in the faith. You have to examine yourself to see where you are in your walk with him. The Holy Ghost is shining the spotlight on our lives. So if, if you know where you are, you would know exactly how to get to the next level but if you don't know where you are there's no way you can get to the next level but a whole lot of people are graduating tonight you can take the tassel and turn it swing it to the left you're graduating tonight you're moving you're moving higher <laughs> oh glory to God glory to God I said you are moving higher tonight they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not get weary they'll walk and not faint I cover you in the blood of Jesus Christ on tonight may and Pastor Amy join our faith with you we pray for you God's taking you higher and remember Jesus said apart from me you can do nothing and that was the secret to getting great faith even though the apostles had their failures and they made their mistakes, all of us do. They kept on walking with Jesus. They never turned back. Only Judas. Judas turned back and then some others and some from out of the crowd in John chapter 63. They turned away from Jesus and they walked no more with him. They messed up big time. The key to obtaining great faith is you keep, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, you stay true in your relationship with Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus and not on things. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. May and Pastor Amy join our faith with you and we cover you in the blood tonight. We pray that God keep you as the apple of his eye. We pray that God would bring you to that place eventually where you have strong faith, where you have great faith. He is going to help you move from one level to the next. You are on a journey. The apostles did not develop great faith overnight. It took time. It took time. You are on a journey. This is not an overnight thing. Are you listening to me? Never forget me and my lovely, beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love all of you so much care deeply about you. God bless you.